Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the impact of budget on our stock markets. So the interim budget was just released yesterday. This is not a permanent budget that's going to happen in the July of 2024. This is just the interim budget and we'll see what impact it has got on our uh, economy or in the stock market industry. So there are a lot of measures which were introduced by the um, government. There were a lot of uh, proposals which were given out. There was a huge thing which is happening about the defense sector and things are happening about your uh, PSU banks or in railways or in energy. So there are a lot of sectors which have been uh, as a highlight on these uh, budget 2024. So to list down, the first sector that is going to be impacted is your housing sector because the government has proposed up new schemes related to that. Then the PSU banks are going to be a huge hit. Then the railway sector is also going to be of importance, followed by the microfinance banks, the small, uh, small finance banks. Then the energy sector is going to have a big impact and the defense sector. So first we'll start with the uh, housing sector. And the stocks which I'm going to talk about here are just for reference purposes. These are the stocks which could uh, uh, skyrocket during this uh, budget, uh, after this budget or during this budget uh, period. So this is not a stock reference or a stock priority by any means. This is just a reference which I'm taking for educational purposes. So do consult with your financial consultant before making a decision or do your due diligence. So the first sector that's going to be uh, under our radar is going to be a housing sector because the government has introduced a new housing scheme to all the middle class uh, facilitating them to purchase of new houses or new lands. So there's going to be a rural housing program which has been introduced by the government. So that's going to have a big positive impact on our economy. So uh, on this sector, the stocks that comes to my radar are going to be your uh, HUTCO as well as your uh, NBCC. So these, uh, we all saw a run in the NBCC market that's showing up a great run almost like for the past six months, it's going to be in a continuous uh, bull chase. So this is also going to trend up again with this uh, new announcement. Then uh, coming up to the PSU banks. So the government has increased up the infrastructure sector to almost about 11.1%. Uh, and uh, that's going to have a rise in the capex as well. So that's again going to be increased to 11.1 lakh crores in the financial year 2025. So that's going to again help you with uh, all the purchasing power of all these uh, buyers or the corporates. So all these PSU banks are again going to be a boom on this. So if at all we have to consider on the stocks on these PSU banks, the number one priority would be into Canra Bank. That's going to like boom up on this uh, announcement, followed by Bank of Baroda and uh, Punjab National Banks. So these three banks would be a huge hit due to this uh, budget. Then the third sector, which would be is your uh, railway sector. The government has uh, ordered up or planned up for expansion of almost 40,000 bogies. And that's going to be towards your Bande Bharat standard. So all these uh, trains which you are using these days, they're all going to be upgraded to the Bande Bharat standards. So that's going to be like a very good uh, uh, influence on the economy or in the sector. So the companies that are going to be engaged on these Bande Bharat, they are going to be like completely like benefited to this. So if at all we happen to see the stocks on this category, that's going to be your uh, RVNL, followed by Titagar Rail, then uh, Jupiter Rail, and Texmaco. So these four companies would be like in a radar. You can keep them on your radar and you can just see their progress and how they are, uh, how they are progressing. You can buy them always in your debts and you can start accumulating these stocks. Then coming up to your uh, microfinance, the government has also like increased up the target for people in Rajasthan, especially to the women in Rajasthan. The government has started up with the uh, Lakhpati Didi scheme. So this Lakhpati Didi scheme is currently at 20 million uh, capacity that's going to be upgraded to 30 million capacity. So that's again going to have an impact on your uh, rural economy and this increase in the credit demand is again going to be like influencing your microfinancial banks. So uh, this scheme will also help in empowerment of the women and also in their skill training as well. So that's definitely going to be a plus for all your microfinance bank. So the companies that comes to my radar would be like Ujivan Small Finance and uh, Equitas. So Ujivan and Small uh, Equitas would be like definitely a huge hit because of this uh, Lakhpati Didi program. The next sector that comes to my radar is your energy sector. The government has also uh, announced about uh, 100 million uh, households where they're going to get about 300 units of uh, electricity under the free solar roofs scheme. So that's the new scheme which the government has uh, introduced. So companies like NTPC or your power grid or SGAVN, all these public sector companies, they're all definitely going to be a huge hit. And uh, if at all, I'm going to look at them. So they would be... Uh, IRDA is again in the radar. That's again is like a huge uh, thing which is coming into the energy sector. 
we all saw run up in IRDA on the past six months or the past three months. Again, now NTPC, Power Grid, SG, and they're all going to be in a loop. And if at all you come to a private players, then you have a Tata Power, Sterling and Wilson, and uh, what are you renewable? So these are all uh, companies that are going to be benefited because of this scheme. Then the defense sector, that's one of the biggest sector which has got the uh, impact on this uh, budget. They have given the biggest announcement. The government has given 11.11 uh, .11 lakh crores in this fiscal year, out of which 6.2 lakh crores is completely set towards the defense sector. So the government is uh, strengthening up our national security and they're boosting up all local procurement across the city, across the country. So that's again going to be a huge hit. So companies like uh, HAL or Bharat Electronics or data patterns, so they are all going to be like impacted because of this. So these are the six sectors that's going to be like a huge hit on this budget 2024 results. We'll have to keep our fingers crossed and wait till the July 2024 results and to see if there are any updates or changes from this. So again, I repeat, these are just stocks that come into my mind or which would be benefited because of this. This is not a financial advice or this is not like a stock picking advice. So you do your due diligence. Do check with your financial consultant before making an investment. So if at all you want me to make a review on any other uh, microeconomics or any kind of topics like this, do leave your comments and do share this video with your friends and do smack that like button for this video to get subscribed or to get uh, distributed to all across your friends. So um, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.